welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a requested video which is a rundown of the Nina Rishi perfumes in the reign Le Belles de Nina Rishi which I'll explain in a minute. If you're new here then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfume. New videos every week all about perfume and I love doing your requests so leave them in the comments and subscribe if you are a perfume fan like me. Join a little perfume community. So Nina Rishi is a perfume brand that I absolutely love. My first ever perfume I think was from Nina Rishi and it was the original Nino de Toilette and I think my dad got it me from an airport um, like for after a business trip and I was just so impressed that he got such a cool bottle like massive dad points and I've always loved like apples and things and I just think this brand particularly the apple shaped um, Nina Rishi like Nina range of perfumes I just think that they're everything that I love about perfumes wrapped into one because just looking at them like makes me smile they're so cute and fun and and they had kind of have characters in their own right so Les Belles de Nina Rishi um, basically means like the girls of Nina Rishi or Nina Rishi's girls so the idea is that there are these three sort of personalities that the fragrances bring to life the Nina fragrance the Luna fragrance and the Bella fragrance and these are kind of like sort of sisters from a, a Jane Austen novel or something in my mind you know Nina is the sort of maybe the youngest the most sort of girly and innocent one Luna is like the sort of slightly older grumpier one with like dark hair like the green um Powerpuff girl <laughs> and then Bella is kind of like the sort of eco warrior nature sister so they and it's just it's just amazing how a bottle with some liquid in it can just inspire all these feelings and create these characters in your mind and yeah it's basically really a good example of why I love perfume so much so anyway that was a slight sidetrack from the topic <laughs> Um, so there's quite a few different versions of these Nina Rishi perfumes um, so this is not going to be a short video so grab a cup of tea um, and I think there's 14 I counted in total I've basically just included ones that you can still buy and I've left the links down below where you can get them I didn't think there was any point in covering ones that are just completely gone and you can't buy anywhere because you'll never be able to smell them so let's start with the three like signature ones in the range so first of all and the original is Nina by Nina Rishi this is the one that looks like a red apple it is a light fresh sweet citrus fragrance very sort of innocent and carefree and perhaps kind of like a young smell it's basically like a granny smith apple smell so rather, not like a red apple but like a, a zesty granny smith and there's also some sort of lemon and limey citrusy notes in there and then after that has um sort of died down in the initial spray you get a sweet praline there's a little bit of peony which is such a beautiful fresh fragrance note um sort of floral but very fresh watery floral and a little bit of musk as well but predominantly this is like a green granny smith apple praline fragrance zesty and sweet but so cute and just a pleasure to wear. So in 2016 we then got Luna added to the range and this was sort of and this was kind of marketed as like the more like mysterious um bit bit more powerful version of the original that sort of sister fragrance that's a bit like mysterious. This is definitely sweeter and darker. It's caramel and vanilla mixed with a kind of like fruit of the forest berries. Um I really like it. It's got a bit more depth and mystery History to it than the original it's almost like Nina could be worn during the day on like a spring's day and then Luna is like you wear at night when you're going out and you want to be a little bit more sexy and mysterious and then we have the third one which is Bella which came out in 2018 this is a bit more like natural smelling I guess it's rhubarb so that's like a fruity sweetness and then vanilla and musk so they all three have that sweetness of like a vanilla in um, but different takes on it so this last one Bella is rhubarb like fruity Luna is nighttime berries and then Nina is like fresh citrus apple 
So those are the core fragrances in like the girls of Nina Rishi. Um, there's then various different versions of them that I'm going to try and go through in a somewhat logical order. So um, recently we have had Les Sorbets de Nina Rishi which are basically like summer versions of the three fragrances and they come in these really cute um, opaque bottles with like an, a bit bitten out of them with a gold um, leaf on the top and I think they're inspired by like an ice cream type vibe hence the name Sorbets. So the Sorbets de Nina, um, the version of the original Nina Rishi, has the praline in but it's died down and they've really hyped up the citrus notes more. But the Granny Smith is gone and instead you've got lemon, orange and raspberry. So this is really like walking into a sorbet shop in a really hot summer's day in Italy and smelling the lemon sorbet, the raspberry sorbet and underneath that like sense of praline sweetness so really lovely if you like the original and you want a bit of a twist for summer um just really perfect summer fragrance Les Sorbets de Luna is a florally version of the original. So it's magnolia and peony with a musky heart. So this is a really pretty fresh floral. This would be lovely for spring. Um, it wouldn't need to be a really hot day for this to fit in. Like it's just a pretty, almost like an English country garden feel. And it doesn't really have any sweet notes in at all. There's a little bit of pear. Um, but unlike most of the others in the Nina Rishi family, there's no vanilla or praline or anything. Thing. So this is letting the floral notes have their moment. We then have Les Sorbets de Bella, which has the um, rhubarb in, but it is like a rhubarb sorbet. So they've mixed it with grapefruit and pomegranate. So it gives it a much more sharper, zestier um, rhubarb without any of the like depth or sweetness that's in the original. So you could for sure layer these and mix these with the three original ones or just have them for during the day and wear the originals at night or just have all of them I want all of them and um, but basically these sorbet ones are like just funner versions like summer versions of the originals so before Bella was released there were editions of Luna and Nina which came out the first and um, one I'm going to cover is Le Gourmandises um which I think basically means like gourmand like the sweet sweetie version so Le Gourmandises de Nina has these cute like sprinkles on the top and there's no better way to describe this except it's like pina colada so it's got a bit of the praline in still but there's no none of the apple it's like sweet pina colada like drinking a actual pina colada on the beach there's passion fruit and caramel like this is like a almost sickly like sweet gourmand summery version this would be really nice on a summer holiday um you could definitely wear this at night time with that much sweetness in but it does live up to its gourmand name and then of course Le Gourmandie de Luna has those tropical vibes again but this time it's with coconut so this is like having a coconut cocktail caramel coconut so sweet coconut then there's a little bit of pear and like citrus vibes but basically you smell like coconut and caramel and um, so both of these are really sweet really tropical versions of the originals nina and luna also had versions out called les monstres like monsters which have these really fun like pom-poms on the top. So the Nina version, the praline's there again. There's p the peony and the green apple and the pear still there, but they're not as dominant as in the original. And instead the praline is mixed with a lot of like candy floss vibes. So again, this is a bit sweeter than the original. It doesn't have the freshness of the apple, but this is very like cool and a bit edgy and the packaging and the bottle are really different. And I think this was like just a nice different version of the original. Then Le Monst Monstres de Luna is a pineapple one. So you've got those caramel vibes but also loads of pineapple. First time we've had pineapple in a Nina Rishi fragrance from this range. Um, so this is basically caramel pineapple and again a really funky modern bottle. Continuing on with Luna there is kind of a one-off um, created called Luna Blossom which is like a purple version of Luna and um, basically this is like Luna but when she's having a really positive day and wants to be a bit more floral. It doesn't really smell anything like the 
original. It doesn't have that caramelly vibes in. Instead, it's peony, pear, citrusy bergamot. Um, so this is very much a, like a blossomy perfume. If you love peony, I personally love peony because it's floral, but it's light and airy and watery, like a fresh peony, rather than a musky, like potpourri type um, floral note. Um, so this is definitely one, if the, probably the most floral in the range. It also has magnolia, jasmine, bit of musk, bit of cedar in the base. Um, but the peony is left to shine so yeah and the bottle is quite cool the purple version but it, it was very much just like there's not been any other blossom versions of Luna and it's almost like this is a fourth sister in its own right they should have just called it something else and had a purple range which is really floral in my opinion that's what I would have done and then we then have three other versions of Nina that you can still get so first, Le Temptation de Nina, which is a really cool hot pink version with gold on the top and gold like a bite in it. This is basically a raspberry macaroon. It lives up to the pink um, packaging and bottle. So if you love um, sort of raspberry, then this is the most raspberry in the whole range. And I find it really fun, really carefree fragrance. The citrus in the initial spray and vanilla but none of the green apple instead the raspberry is the making it a bit more fruity but more interesting like a raspberry walking into a macaroon shop and eating a raspberry macaroon there's also Lo de Nina, which is a cherry version of Nina. Um, so cherry is very much the main note here. And the green apple's still there, the Granny Smith apple with some like fresh citrus and aquaticness to it. But this is the only one that really has cherry as the star. So this is one for cherry fans. And then finally, we have Nina Rouge, which has just been released. This is a like opaque version of the original with a white bite mark it looks just like a normal red apple but there is no apple notes in here it's caramel gardenia raspberry and vanilla there's a teeny bit of ginger in which you get in the initial spray but the citrus then dominates because there is some citron but then those floral and raspberry notes come through and then the sweetness of the caramel so this is quite similar to the original in a lot of ways but just a bit more raspberry um and i just think the bottle's really cool it kind of looks almost like a candy cane with that sort of candy cane red and white um bow on it so that's my run through of the Le Belles de Nina Rishi a range of perfumes like I said I just think they're super cool and um, check them out I've linked them down below and let me know which is your favorite there's been so many and I'm sure there'll be so many more as well and let me know if you'd want me to do a rundown of its sort of cousin brand um of these girls the Rishi Rishi um perfumes which are sort of tall and thin with a big bow on um because I really love them as well they're a bit more mysterious but that's it guys, so I hope you found it useful and interesting. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But that's it, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!